Let's go. What's going on, everybody? In this one, I am rolling with Matthew. Okay, so I'm just asking Matthew a couple of questions. Let us do the talking. I mean, I like a little bit of jiu-jitsu and small. Oh, okay. I like just like how my roommate. Not the major. Sure. Okay, so enough talk. We slap and bump, and we begin. William is a new grappler. I was just trying to gauge his experience before we started. You can see I start slow. I let him uh, come in. I pull guard. Oh. He tries to break it a little bit. I let him step over. I grab his leg. Just trying to see what he can do and what he wants to do. Now, tell me this. What's your approach when you guys meet a new grappler? Do you let them work a little bit? Do you just dominate them from head to toe? If you're a, a white belt or a blue belt, do you just say, hey, that's fresh meat? If you're purple or brown, do you just uh, try to give them a little bit of experience? Okay, so I have him in mount and I was giving him a little bit of instruction on what to do. There he is, he flips me over. And here I was going to go for the flower sweep. He sunk down a little bit heavy, I wasn't able to do it. Trying to split my legs here and here I just have a sort of a I was going to oh, okay sort of a I just use this momentum to flip him over I come up top still letting him work his game a little bit never put your hands on the mats of course and I go to side control here slide over that knee to get on top Settle down here. I was thinking about doing a, a great popper. Did I do the great popper in here? Yeah. Did a great popper here. And and of course, this is one of my most favorite techniques. I should get on my toes there for more pressure. And here we go. We start again. And I flip him over with my butterfly guard hook. I didn't mean to throw him that far. I was just going to roll him over, but he kind of flew over a little bit. We start again. I have my knee up the guard. He's and here I told him I said never give up the position to fly off for an arm bar. You want to stay tight at all times. Want to make sure that you're secure before you would step off for any sort of technique. So I'm telling him to make sure that he's. Uh, he stays in close also I was telling him where to put that elbow with the hip how to slide over with that knee to get into mount and I told him about the, the, the idea or the concept of the two-on-one and so with the two-on-one all he has to do is just grab my arm and push it down I was telling him yes grab my arm push it down okay and then we would review the mechanics of the Americana here so I was telling him to put my his wrist over top of my wrist and to when he latches his arm underneath mine and connects to rev it back like a you know like he was pulling a motorcycle and to pull my elbow close down to my ribs at the same time so he can get that maximum torque the, the two-on-one is a great concept to master here all right guys thanks for watching as always don't forget to like and subscribe until next time peace